In today's video, we are gonna build a TypeScript node project from scratch. Furthermore, we are gonna learn how to build and make the process of development in TypeScript projects a little bit smoother by using some packages like Nodemon and TS Node. Moreover, we will learn how to manage environment variables within the scope of our project. Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Before we begin, subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the like button. To begin with, I'm gonna create a folder and open it in the VS Code. I choose the path and create a folder. You can put whatever name you would like. I would say ts-no-starter here. I create it and then select it. The file is opened in the VS Code. I open the terminal and initial the npm package repository. So I would I would specify and write the npm in it dash dash y dash dash y uh, which is a flag that leave the default configuration in the package.json file as you probably know package.json file which is a file that holds the necessary information scripts and dependencies and additional information and configuration for your node.js project as you can see here, the name of the project is ts-node-starter and package description. And also, there are some scripts here. And I'm gonna install some packages as dev dependency packages, which are TypeScript and types slash node. Wait a wait a few minutes wait a few seconds and yeah as you can see here the dependencies and packages are included in the dev dependency and package.json file then i'm going to use tsc which is a stand for typescript compiler whenever you want to interact and use typescript compiler you have to use TSC package. So I'm I put npx TSC dash dash init. By using dash dash init, TypeScript compiler will create TS config dash dot JSON file for you. I'm gonna use this and I wanna specify more additional configuration here, which are dash dash module. Sorry, common JSON and root directory, which is src, and out directory, which is build. You can put whatever name you would like in the root directory and out there, but I follow the standard and the default. I press enter to execute this command. Yes, as you can see. A file is generated here which is called tsconfig.json. tsconfig holds the necessary information for the TypeScript compiler to compile your TypeScript and files into the TypeScript. As you can see here, module, root directory, and out directory are included in the tsconfig.json file. I wanna create src folder and define the first typescript file which is ts index.ts i'm gonna use a simple console.log and say hello so i save it and i'm gonna compile it into the javascript file so i'm gonna use tsc npx tsc so as you can see here a folder is created here which is build and typescript compiler trans compile index.ts into index.js file as you can see here there is this is the index.js file and if i want to um, execute this javascript file i head to the build folder 
and execute index.js file. As you can see here, say hello is printed in the console. In order to automate the process in the local development, I'm, I want to use and install some packages like Nodemon and TSNode. So first, let's start and install Nodemon. and ts node as a dependency pack as a dev dependency package so i made a mistake sorry then i tried again so how those packages are installed i'm gonna create a new a new file which is called nodemon.json file which includes and we can customize all the configuration which are related to Nodemon. So I want to specify watch, watch which is an array that src and ext which is, which is a short form for the extensions I'm gonna say let's watch the ts files and .js files. There is an ignore. I'm gonna put it for an empty array. And there is an exec for execution. I would say ts node ts node src index.ts I specify the entry point of the application so I save it and go back to the JSON file package the JSON file I'm gonna create a build folder build a script which is build and trans and compile the TypeScript file into the JS file so I just specify TSC and then I'm gonna define a new script which is called dev oh my god I just um, specify the nodemon nodemon reads the configuration from nodemon.json and execute for us so if I put the command and hit the npm run dev command, Nodemon watches the src folder and index.ts file and any files which, which, is in, which is located in the src. As you can see, this pattern. So if I'm going to change this to hello one and then save it automatically nodemon generates and compile the typescript files into the js files so by doing this the development in the local environment would be a little and too much easier you know so we are going to take advantage of this thing so i want to exit the terminal and install a package which is called rimref as a dev dependency package by using rimref we can remove the build folder build folder really easy and which is multi cross platform rimref for example if i want to remove a folder in the windows um, the command is different in the mac os or the ubuntu if i'm gonna use rimref i use rimref i specify the build folder and yeah so before compiling, I would like to delete the build folder and generate new build folder, which is hold all the necessary JS files. 
I save it and npm build to compile and use the build script I use npm run um, build npm run build so it uses the rimref and deletes the build folder and then compile the TypeScript folder TypeScript files into the JavaScript file as you can see here the file is changed I would like to try it one more time to see the usages of the rimref I delete the build folder and I wanna um, use npm run build as you can see if we, as you can see here a new folder is generated here which holds the information and javascript files i would like to add a new command and new script which is a start which is used for production level applications first i would like to build the application and then use node for the execution I want to address it to the build folder and the index.js and save it and use again npm run start yes as you can see here the scripts is worked and yeah this is the final step in the our application I hope you have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for up for the new upcoming videos. If you forget, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for the new videos. See you later.